37 on daybreak and we're just a few weeks from kids heading back to school and with the school year approaching fast many schools are struggling with bus driver shortages. So the Salamanca City Central School District is hosting a try it out bus rodeo to fill eight positions and daybreaks. Lauren Hall joins us this morning with all the details on that event. Hey there, Lauren. Hey, good morning, Melissa. Good morning, Pete. Well, if you were behind the wheels of a school bus, how do you think you do driving it? That's what the Salamanca City Schools Central District is asking with this bus driver hiring blitz they're putting on. This year, they are adding buses and routes to keep the kids more spread out and make sure they and their drivers stay safe, which adds some logistical concerns. Salamanca Superintendent Robert Brindenstein says one one thing that makes it hard to find new drivers is that it's a fairly skilled position that requires regular testing. They often look for people who have retired from other careers and already offer full benefits, including health and dental insurance. On top of that, there's a $1,500 hiring bonus for the eight drivers they're looking for right now. And to create some buzz around the profession, they are holding their bus rodeo next week for prospective new drivers to see how their skills measure up to the pros. He put up a 10 challenge obstacle course, uh, stopping at railroad tracks, parallel parking the bus. Uh, it's a legit road test as to what the drivers would normally experience to get their uh, driving credentials. Uh, and it also helps us understand that when our drivers tell us as administrators that they're experiencing some difficulties with a student or a bus route or uh, transportation times, uh, it's made us more sensitive to the, uh, to the incredibly important job that our transportation department uh, uh, does every single day and well excess of a million miles a year. So if you are interested in applying to become a bus driver for e either Salamanca City Schools or the Niagara Wheatfield School District, which we featured last half hour, you can find out how to apply for both of those positions with this story on WGRZ.com. Peter Melissa, back over to you.